Hello and welcome to Patashala. In today's video, we are diving into a critical topic for UPSC preparation, the evolution of the Indian national movement. This is a comprehensive overview of the key phases that played a pivotal role in shaping modern India. Let's get started. The Indian national movement began in the 19th century with early attempts at reform and the raise of nationalist sentiments. Let's explore the key phases of this evolution. The first significant phase is the early 19th century which saw a growing awareness among Indians about their their rights. The revolt of 1857, also known as the Sipai Mutiny, was a major event marking the beginning of organized resistance against British rule. Although it was suppressed, it laid the groundwork for future nationalist movements. In 1885, the Indian National Congress was founded by Alan Octavian Hume. The INC initially aimed for moderate reforms and sought to address grievances with the British government. The period between 1885 and 1905 is known as the moderate phase. During this time, leaders like Dadabai Nauroji, Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Bal Gangadhar Tilak worked together achieving constitutional reforms through petitions and negotiations. The key achievements during this phase included the Indian Councils Act of 1892 which increased Indian representation in legislative councils and the formation of the Indian National Congress as a political force. The early 20th century saw the emergence of radical nationalism. Leaders like Lala Lajpat Rai, Bipin Chandrapal and Bal Gangadhar Tilak advocated for more assertive forms of resistance against British rule. This period is marked by the adoption of radical measures and the raise of revolutionary activities. One of the significant events during this phase was the partition of Bengal in 1905 which was seen as an attempt by the British to divide and rule by creating religious divisions. The radical leaders led a strong agitation against this move which eventually led to the reversal of the partition in 1911. The Gandhian era beginning in 1920s introduced a new dimension to the Indian national movement. Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy of non-violence and civil disobedience galvanized millions across India. The non-cooperation movement between 1920 and 22 and the civil disobedience movement between 1930 and 34 were landmark campaigns that mobilized large sections of the Indian populace. Gandhi's leadership during the Quit India movement of 1942 was crucial in intensifying the struggle for independence. In the final phase leading up to the independence, India witnessed significant political developments. Post-World War II, the British government was pressured to decolonize. The Cabinet Mission Plan of 1946, which proposed a federal structure, was a critical development. However, the growing demand for independence and the communal tensions led to the partition of India and the creation of Pakistan in 1947. To summarize, the Indian national movement evolved through various phases from early reforms and moderate nationalism to radical activism and Gandhian mass movements, finally leading to independence. For UPSC preparation, understanding these phases will help you grasp the complexities of India's struggle for for freedom. Be sure to focus on key events, leaders and their contributions. This will not only aid in your prelims preparation but also provide a solid foundation for the mains exam. That's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Patshala.